On tonight's edition of Gravitas Snapshot, we will tell you the story of Pakistan's first Sikh minister. His name is Ramesh Singh Arora. And he has made history for the first time. A member of the minority Sikh community took oath as a minister in Pakistan's Punjab province. Now Arora's appointment is a big deal. But before I tell you why, here's all you need to know about him. Ramesh Singh Arora. Born in the city of Nakana Sahib in 1974, Arora has a postgraduate degree in entrepreneurship. He worked for the World Bank's Poverty Reduction Program in Pakistan before joining politics. In an interview with an Indian newspaper, Arora had said that his family chose to stay back in Pakistan instead of moving to India after partition. He says his grandfather took the, took the decision upon the insistence of his dear friend. Arora's political career spans over a decade. He has been an MP three times before, but this is the first time that he has been given a ministerial portfolio. In 2008, he founded the Mojaz Foundation. It works to uplift the underprivileged and the poor in Pakistan. In 2013, Arora was elected as a member of the Provincial Assembly of Punjab. He was then re-elected seven years later after a seat reserved for non-Muslims fell vacant due to the death of a member. Between 2014 and 2017, he served as chairman of the Standing Committee on Commerce and Investment. He was also the chairman of the Standing Committee on Human Rights and Minorities Affairs from 2017 up until 2018. Arora is known for his staunch advocacy for Sikh rights in the country. In fact, in 2016, he was awarded the National Human Rights Award for his activism. He also played a big role in the passage of the Punjab Sikh Anand Karaj Marriage Act 2018 in Pakistan. In the recently held park election, Arora was re-elected as an MPA from Narawal, his hometown, where Gurdwara Shri Kartarpur Sahib, the final resting place of Sikhism's founder Guru Nanak, is located. Last year, he was also appointed as the ambassador at large for the Kartarpur Corridor, a visa-free border crossing and religious corridor that connects Pakistan with India. In the same interview with, the, with an Indian daily, Arora said that it was unfortunate that over four years since the launch of the Kartarpur Corridor, the response had been lukewarm. He vowed to take all possible steps to encourage more people from India to visit Kartarpur via this corridor. Arora was recently also elected as the chief of the Pakistan Sikh Gurdwara Parbandar Committee. This week, in fact, he joined the cabinet of the recently sworn in PMLN Chief Minister Mariam Nawaz Sharif. Reports say that Arora is likely to get the minority affairs portfolio and this is a much needed political representation in Pakistan. You see in Pakistan, Sikhs are a minority community, around 17,000 to 20,000 Sikhs and more than 20 lakh Hindus currently live in Pakistan. Here, religious minorities like Sikhs, Hindus and Christians often face an existential crisis. They face social, economic and cultural discrimination. They constantly live in the fear of being targeted by militant organizations, land mafias, and Islamist outfits. So when it comes to political participation, the state of affairs is dismal. Aurora promises to work not only for the safety and well-being of Sikhs, but also for all minorities, including Hindus and Christians. This is why Ramesh Singh Aurora's appointment matters. After all, political representation is a first step towards ensuring minority well-being. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.